snap. Literally, as soon as I turned this on, the guy next door, I'm at CrossFit, the guy next door started sawing. So we're, we're gonna get through this. It's gonna be um, short and sweet and concise for you. So today's Daily Flames is about goal setting. Um, and this is dedicated to Keenan, who asked me this question about uh, what's the best way to do it. So long term, I have goals, I, I you know, I have things that I wanna do um, over the course of a year, right? Let's say you don't wanna waste another year, right? You, you went through this year and you realized how stupid some of the shit was. We're gonna walk into the other room here. Um, you know, you realize how stupid and, and silly some of the shit was that maybe you obsessed about in the last year. Maybe you lost time over worry and stress and petty judgments and opinions and starting fights or getting involved in, in stupid stuff. Maybe that's the case and you realize, I don't wanna waste another year to stupid ego bullshit, okay? Or just laziness, maybe it's just laziness, you know? You, you let just, you just let things get the best of you and, and COVID was an excuse to just not do anything, okay? Whatever it is, or you, you just wanna know what's the best way to set goals, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, Lexi, you know it. That's how it always works, you know. Um, it's like Louis barking. Like, I'm not at home, so nobody can hear Louis barking in the background, but instead I've got the guy next door sawing metal. I'm pretty sure he's like sawing metal. But, okay, so the best way to set goals, okay? is to reverse engineer. So you're gonna take, I'm gonna stop walking so it's, stop, it's not like Blair Witch Project for you, um, is to reverse engineer. So actually number one is to be really clear about what your goals are, right? So write them down. Writing, actual handwriting, not on a computer, not texting, actual handwriting is proven uh, in your brain to create the, the, it's the most impressionable for your brain. So physically write it down. What are your goals? And, and don't be shy. Like what are your big goals? Okay. Write them down. They may seem unattainable right now. If that's a goal, write it down. Okay. Writing it down, period. Super important. Then you're going to reverse engineer. Okay. Then you're going to break it down to what is most attainable, right? So for um, each month, what would you like to see happen by the end of 30 days? Okay. So think in, in smaller steps, if you can break that down into 12 months, what would that look like for each month for you? So the answer is kind of all of the above, right? Is it weekly goals? Is it daily goals? Is it yearly goals? Number one is writing them down. Okay. It's going to make an impression for your brain and it's going to uh, keep them forefront, right? It's memorable. And it's something that, remember, where your focus goes, that's what grows. It's the way your brain works. So you can train your neural pathways to always have your goals forefront, right, if you want to. And there's a way to do that without being obsessive also, right? Because, um, you know, a lot of people get super obsessive about their food and their body goals. and. It's just, it's not healthy. It creates a whole nother, opens up a whole nother can of worms for you, right? So you don't wanna be super obsessive. There's a way to do that. But for right now, just think surface. Write down your big goals. What are they, right, for the year? Um, get it like in your brain, right? And then you're gonna reverse engineer. What is attainable? Sorry, there's a stupid glare too. What's attainable in a month for you, right? So smaller scale, you can look at Okay, I can commit to this over the course of a month, of a thir you know, 30 days. Um, then, and you can write that down again. Here's 12 months and commit to yourself, right? What does is, what is month one look like? What does month two look like? Where do I want to be after 30 days? Where do I want to be after the second month? Where do I want to be after the third month? Does that make sense? Again, it does depend on what your goals are to kind of assess, can I get it before 12 months? Can I get it in six months? Can I achieve this goal in three months? Everybody's different, okay? I will tell you that just in coaching people across different facets of life, in, in all of the different areas, in fitness, in nutrition, in 
life goals and relationship goals, um, career goals. A salad, 90 days. I mean, you can even look at it like supplements. When do supplements kick in, right? Not medicine. Medicine is a great band-aid, you know, it fixes the, the surface issue, right? But actually, like stuff that works from the inside, okay? The stuff that you really do, do from the inside to make it last for you, it's really a good like 90 days, okay, of, of being able to see change and see, build on lasting change, okay? So minimum, 90 days, okay? So give yourself that, allow yourself that. Break it down, okay? So you're gonna write it down, assess it, get really clear on what those goals are, break it down month by month, where do I wanna see myself after each month? Um, and then from there, then you create weekly goals, okay? And again, it's all written down because so you're very clear. So if I want to see X at the end of 30 days, I need to do I need to make sure this is getting done every single week, right? Um, that may look like pull-ups. Let's just use pull-ups for an example. I, I really wanna get strict pull-ups. Okay, so strict pull-ups, you're gonna look at, okay, in the course of a month, and what I know weekly, again, talk to your trainer, you're, you're welcome to ask me questions as a CrossFit coach, but I will say for pull-ups, you definitely wanna give yourself enough rest when we talk about you know, muscles and how that work, you wanna give yourself rest in between. And I'll tell you, it's not too different when it comes to other life goals, okay? When it comes to your nutrition, we know that if you go, if you do pull-ups every single day, A, you're gonna fatigue yourself if you're under-trained in pull-ups, right? You're, you're going to not build the strength because your muscles aren't able to build the strength doing it every single day like that, right? So you're gonna defeat your goal. Same thing with your nutrition. If you're like, okay, I want to be whatever, lose weight, whatever you're aesthetic, aesthetically, these are my weight goals, right? So I'm going to, I've got to do this, meet this goal by 30 days. Okay, so every week, every day, I'm going to eat super restrictive. Here's the deal. Super restrictive makes you fall face first in cheesecake, right? So you want to look at how, what is reasonable for you. Again, Every single person, every single situation is different. Let me know if you need help with that and I'll be happy to sit down with you just based on you know, the thousands of people that I've helped transform different habits and pieces of their life to achieve goals that they, that they have for themselves. Every single, every single person, every single situation is gonna be different. But pull-ups, okay, let's just say pull-ups. I'm gonna say, you wanna break that up between like doing I would say do deficit, do negative pull-ups, right? Jump up to the bar and go down super slow. That's super taxing, but it's gonna help you get a strict pull-up. Uh, and I would say break that down between like <laughs> three to four days a week, right? Not every single day. Probably three days is a good place to start if you're like, mm, not, I'm just can't do pull-ups at all, right? I'm glad you like that. Falling face, face first in cheesecake, Alexi. I love that one too. Uh, because that's what happens, right? Um, Whatever it is, just know you have to give yourself space around it, right? Let yourself recover from it and then get back to it. So um, hence my next part is, so yes, yearly, you're gonna break down your yearly, what, is your, what are your big picture goals for the whole year? Break that down, what can you commit to? What can you reasonably commit to every 30 days each month, right? What does that look like? Where do you wanna see yourself after 30 days? Then you're gonna take that and break that down into weekly. Okay, what do I need to do weekly to achieve that? And then what does that look like daily, right? So day, again, it all applies daily. Having it written down, having it for, have it, even if it's on a marker board on your wall, or even if it's you know on your planner, it's phys on post-its, on your bathroom mirror, in your car dash. You guys know I'm a post-it fanatic. Like that's my favorite game to play to get goals is post-its everywhere. Just write it everywhere because then it's in your brain, you're reading it, it's appearing, you keep seeing it. That's gonna help rewire your neural pathways to do the things you want it to do, right? To make your body do what you want it to do, to make your brain, to make your heart do the things that you want it to do. Uh, let's see, okay, so writing it down, big picture, breaking it, breaking it down monthly, weekly, daily, right? 
So, and then consistency, right? So the consistency in that, that's super key. And so having it written down where you can see it is gonna help you remember, ah, that's right, consistency. I should be doing that again. And here's the other piece of that. This is all pre-planning. So you might be writing goals down that seem super unattainable, but just by writing it down, just by pre-planning, you're gonna get a lot closer to your goals if you never had written that down, okay? Pre-planning helps you get there. If you had never written it down, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind, right? And so just by writing it down, just the act of pre-planning is going to get you a lot closer to your goals than if you didn't write it down, right? And I hear you, you're like, oh, I write shit down all the time, but I never do it and I forget and then I get busy, okay. Then comes in consistency, right? That's the other piece here, where you, you decide to commit to yourself. That's kind of the, the crux of it, right? Of all of it, is you decide that you are worth enough to stay committed to yourself for the change you wanna see, right? Maybe the change is, I wanna be nicer. I, I know that I, I'm, I'm an asshat sometimes. I know that I'm the wicked witch of the West. I know that you know, I like to blame other people for my unhappiness, right? Maybe that's what it is. Practicing, consistency, again, writing things down. What is it that you really wanna be? So don't focus on, I don't wanna be a wicked witch, you know? Focus on, you know, I want more joy in my life. I want more peace in my heart. I want more, I want to be love. That's gonna squash, you know, the negative behaviors out of, out of your date, who you are. It's gonna squash that. Cause that's not really who you are, okay, by the way. When, when you're an asshat and you're negative Nelly and you're raining on every, you're a drain, you're just a constant drain. We've all been there, okay, right here. Been there, done that. That's not even who you really are. That's part of your ego that you've taken on to mask who you really are, right? So. That's all deeper stuff than what we're, we're talking about right now. But again, feel free to message me to, um, cause all those are keys to help you get the consistency to the goals that you really want. So that's all I got. I think that's it. Um, I'll be back tomorrow if I missed anything and we'll go over it again. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments, message me, whatever. You can go to my new website that's up. I'm super excited at redphoenixlife.com super excited it's super awesome you should go check it out like a lot of work went into that website a lot of blood sweat and tears in creating the content for it um like a lot like it's very therapeutic you know i'm all about writing stuff down and stuff it's good for you so if you have any questions you can message me there's a contact page on there there's a page that you can click just to listen to these daily flames so that you don't have to you know watch the video i myself I'm not a social media person, so I like being able to just click, you know, click listen and not have to worry about getting pulled into all of the bleh that's on Facebook. Uh, what else is on there? A contact page, a blog page. It's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of really cool, so check it out. Let me know what questions you have, and I hope you have a great day.